And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is once again your man Bob Mob, aka Doc Wildcard, welcoming you back to Doki Doki Purest Mod, in which I'm saving in this route Natsuki. Natsuki, we need to talk about your grades. Yeah, so what about them? You know what I'm referring to. My grades suck. There you go. What else is new? This has to change. I don't know if you'll. Need a tutor or something, but at least but we can't let things keep going like this. We can't let you be held back a second time, Natsuki. So what if I am? Is it really that big of a deal? We both know that your education is important. Even then, how am I grades supposed to change? If, if the situation that, I'm, that I live in won't change. How am I grades supposed to get better if living here doesn't get better? Perfectly valid point. And in case you've forgotten, ladies and gentlemen, the reason I am uh, tracing over the words to see if they turn into hyperlinks. Any of them. Going through all this, I can only do so much. What are you going to do if you get held back again then? What will you do? What will you tell your friends? Will you lie about your age to the people you meet? Were you listening to anything I even said? I did, but you're not seeing the point. No, I get your point, but you don't seem to get mine. But if that's how you want to go about this, then fine. It's not like I can do anything about this anyway. It's not like I was ever able to do anything about the things going on in my life. Things continued as normal for the next few days. Actually, I don't know if I consider it normal. Something definitely felt off. Try the fact that you went to see a girly-ass movie called Parfait Girls. Maybe that, huh? Okay, I'll, I'll try to stop now. I, I can't make any guarantees. Anyway, um, in the middle of one night, I would learn why. It had to have been around 3 a.m. at the time. Natsuki and I were asleep until I heard a loud noise along the lines of a thud. Turned towards Natsuki's side and saw what that she rolled off the bed. Ouch. Didn't mind much of it initially. I thought. I didn't think about much of it initially. I thought she had other, another nightmare or something that happened because of her tossed turn. To some degree that was true, but it was what I found when I looked at her after she fell. I discovered a horrifying fact. When she fell, her shirt shifted away that her right shoulder became visible. The final puzzle piece I've been looking for finally appeared. She looks up at me, I'll be craggly. She's just woken up after all. Natsuki? What's with that bruise? Natsuki! Here I am now. Shocked and furious to see such a thing. I'd spent time coming up with a bunch of other possibilities explaining why she had that bruise. There was no point. Everything finally fit together. Thoughts rushing through my head. The reason she has a bruise. The reason she came to live with me. The reason she acts the way she does towards her dad. There's no other explanation. Maybe I'm just jumping the gun, but this is the conclusion I have come to. to that's who he was hit by her dad. If that wasn't bad enough, the potential implications could be even worse. I feel dizzy. Now what? How I handle this? It's not like I can ignore this. 
was able to ignore it before, but that's that was because I didn't realize what was going on. I didn't realize the seriousness of the situation. But now that I do, I have to do something. This Bruce, I don't bother. Already know. She gets a guilty. Why would she feel guilty? mad at her when she's the one being abused. It doesn't make sense. You mad at me, Bob? I don't have any excuses anymore. Before I hid it from you since I thought I was doing the right thing to keep you out of this, but I'm not mad at you. I wish I didn't have to find out like this, but it's not anything. It's not just it's not you I'm upset, but not Suki. I say it because I should discuss this tomorrow, but I think either of us... I don't think either of us are going back to sleep. Just, just want to get this over with. Suki's face is continuous whirlwind of emotion. Fear, regret, and sadness all cycle through at the same time. When this happened at Suki, as I talk, I get back into bed as well. Come for I got from laying down, covered from the blankets, was gone now. Remember that day when I snapped at you and said I hated everyone? It's not a good memory to come back to, but yes. After I ran out of the clutch, I headed home right after. Then, I was having an argument with my dad as usual and... Hold up, as usual? Is this happening off or something? Um, I'd have to go back a bit further to explain. I feel bad for interrupting again, but I need to get the bruise out of the way first. Sorry, go back to the story. We can talk about the rest later. Yeah, so I was arguing with my dad and then they screwed it and then... Suki shows me a bruise again. Then he ran to my house to get you. Raising a child, increasing a child with his wife was too important for him to put into words. And my situation got worse recently too. We haven't really sunk yet. But although it has to be tough for him. Indeed, nothing ever justifies abuse. It doesn't justify what he did. I didn't say it does. 
I'm mad about this too. Started to distance himself from me. Well, it's more like he distanced himself from everyone. He can do that if he wants, but he still has a dog to take care of. Occasionally making dinner isn't enough. I felt neglected because of it. It was like I did something wrong, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Does he drink that Suki? No, I don't think so. Never saw him drink anyway. As I was saying, I would argue with him a lot about how I was treated. It was, wasn't was only neglect that was the problem, it was how he acted towards other things too. He had this perfect idea of what he wanted his star to be like. He was willing to give some leeway, but not enough for me to do things to keep my manga collection at home. I would have that much control for your life. He could barely take care of himself. Basically. Wow. I want to hear this. I want to feel bad for not so keen. What she had been going through is no. I have someone should have, should have to leave. Because he wanted me to be the best daughter ever. That's what he taught me for years. To, that's what he taught me for years to do. Wanted me to rise above everyone else. And yeah, wanted to be me to be successful is one thing, but he didn't have to push it onto you. <laughs> He didn't have to push on to you as far as he did, right? Yeah, that wasn't exactly him focusing on my grades either. Never been good enough. Uh, never been good enough at school to be a straight A student anyway. <laughs> Told me to be the best socially too, and to have the most friends. Even. You know, it might always be possible to work out to make sure to try to talk to people. I never figured out what to do. I never wanted to figure out if I should take advice from all people. It didn't really matter though. In the end, I had a hard time making friends because I had trouble trusting people thanks to him. I said, I don't mind end up the way I did. Things just happen that way. Sometimes I try to be nice, but a lot of times I didn't even want to show any my weaknesses. I don't get why it happened that way, but it did. I think the reason why he was so obsessed with me being successful is because so, I think he didn't want me to turn out the way he did. So he looks like he's about to break down. Regardless, there's something I need to know.
his accent was undeniable. Otherwise, his accent was undeniable and justifiable and correct towards you. And you fully feel about him. Just think of everything that's so evil. Something's wrong, but when they realize they burn hell off the news. I think it's funny how it turned out. Not that kind of funny, but I'm talking more about how I came to find out about this. Suki so seemed bent on letting me find out the situation. Not letting me find out the situation. She didn't always do a great job, but she continued to try to hide it. But then this night, because my bed is up against the wall, you can only fall off it if you put it on the left side. I was the first one to get into bed that night and lay down on the right side. So the only option was for that to keep it down on the left side. If that didn't happen, she wouldn't have fallen off the bed. I would have seen him bruised, and I never would have learned the truth behind all this. I was trying to get him to see what he to think, but a thought crossed my mind. Did your dad ever try to take his life? Huh? I asked if your dad tried committing suicide at any point. He has it. I'm trying to figure something out. He said they distanced himself from everyone in the view. I think it was because he was sick of life piling up on him, right? Lost his wife, his financial situation was rough and so on. I think so. Would he have tried to take his life? Sorry if that sounds random, but it's something I was thinking about. Where does this go? He had to have some reason to live, wouldn't he? Or are you looking too deep into it? No, I think I'm onto something. Otherwise, it leaves two possibilities. There was another reason he distracted himself from assisted himself for everyone. Where he had no reason to live. There's nothing pointing to the first possibility, and I don't think it makes sense if there was. I don't think it makes sense if there was either. That's for the second possibility. He hasn't even attempted suicide, right? Again, you're looking way too deep into it. You can't tell how someone's feeling. Was that supposed to be her line? Whoops. It's just not possible. I also remember you suggesting that it was possible the reason your dad was so obsessed with you was because being successful was because he didn't want to see you end up like himself. kept living for you. If it were true, that would be a twisted sick way to pay blow from you. That will carry you and how he treat you. But even now, I grab him. I can, can't totally ignore that maybe that was the situation. I'm even more conflicted now. There's absolutely no justifying these actions. Violence is never the answer. Maybe I really am looking at this from the wrong perspective. 
Perhaps there is no right perspective to this either. Again, what he did was despicable, but I do wonder. I can't believe I forgot to mention this, but it's the first time he hit you, right? That's why I've been getting from what you said. So this is the first time he hit, hit me, yes. Back when he and my mom first got married, they agreed they would never use violence to get a point across if they ever had kids. Indeed, that's the way it should be. I wonder how... <laughs> See, feel that. Jacob was going to think or say we were going to school today. Looking at Suki seeing she was still hugging me even while she was asleep. There's no way I could make her go to school. I don't want to leave her alone either, so that's just how it is. I'll admit I'm not totally sure about how everything how everything was said last night. Still many more questions that I have that haven't been answered plus ones that have been asked and we haven't figured out what to do about not so much to have we do and not make any decision either. Regardless, I said the not so cute to stay with me as long as he like it's not like I break that promise to me after this long. I think about getting up to make breakfast, but I can only wait. But I can wait. I want to keep that Suki company for as long as possible. Dozens of thoughts continue to swirl around in my head. Roughly ten minutes pass. But before I can drift back to sleep, that Suki wakes up. Uh huh? Bob! We we're supposed to leave for school. You didn't forget how uh, about what happened last night, right? Yeah, but even now you're still pushing yourself. You have to rest that suit. That suit looks as if she's gone. So she's about to fight back only for her head to the head. I feel like I'm saying it enough. I'm kind of crappy sometimes. But with you, I feel like I can do anything. Indeed, anyone can do anything, as I've said about before. I know that sounds cliche and everything, but when Alexander the Great, the man who conquered the known world, had said nothing is impossible to him, he will try. You can damn well bet that kind of thing is the truth. 
Got to keep holes with closer and hold me tighter. So, stay with me, okay? Please. I don't know if she's acting like this because she's sleep deprived or exhausted or something. But I, I'm not complaining about anything. I'll stay with you for as long as you want, that's okay. Uh, what time is it? I'm aware of what's going on around me. I check my phone to see the time. Oh, 7 p.m. already? I slept really? Slept that long? Atsuki, you awake? Doesn't seem like it the way she's been holding me. Huh? It's almost 7 p.m. Okay. Suki tries going back to sleep, which is one thing, but can things really be swept under the rug this easily? I twist and both of them have to eat. What am I even thinking? Suki's been through more than enough to be selfish to try to get her wake up when she's fine and sleeping. I suppose that's true. It does make me think about how I'm headed in this situation in general. I've had no similar ex- I've had no experience with what she's been going through or anything similar either. Am I really qualified to give her advice on this? And if not me, then who? I haven't asked that Suki about her thoughts on counseling or anything yet, but, in, but I'm the person she trusts the most right now, I It might seem like I'm overthinking this a bit, <coughs> but I think this is important enough to bring, for that not to matter. What I say from this point forward could potentially change her life forever. Change mine too. I continued to sleep and woke up around 11 p.m. I don't think I've ever slept this long actually. Asuki's up this time too as I turn over and see her reading some manga. Hey. She turns to face me with a little sliver of nervousness in her expression. What? we talk? Atsuki looks as if she wants to pull it off, put it off, which I can't blame her for. You're probably going to bug me until I say yes, so... Atsuki puts the manga down and pulls to the bed's blanket closer to her. Both of us are on the same page about the situation with your dad, right? But that creates another issue, which is figured out what to do about it. Why do we need to do something to do anything about it? What do you mean? Like I said, why do we have to try to fix things in the first place? Is she even wrong? Does she? Need, does there need to be a solution? <coughs> Well, do you still care about for your dad? I do, but I'm happy living the way I am at the moment. I gave myself into something that ultimately isn't for me to try to change. Do you think you'd be happier if things were passed up? Maybe I would be, but I don't want to take the risk to find out. Am I going in circles thinking about this? I want to help Natsuki. She's so, so important to me. I love her so much. But I have to question if this is okay for me to do. I don't think she's ever actually asked for my help with this in the first place, has she? Can we at least talk about this later? 
I don't know if we should. I'll be honest, I'm extremely unsure about what I'm saying right now. <coughs> but would things be the same if we let this go? Would things be the same next time we go on a date? Like I said, I don't know what we would do about your dad. I just think it's going to feel weird if we don't do something. I used to think the same thing, you know. I thought about it a lot when I first came to live with you. Remember how tense I was back then? Then I learned to let go, I guess. Eventually I started dating you and here we are now. There's no problem with us living like this, is there? My dad doesn't seem to care enough to talk with me anyway. I was thinking about that, actually. What's up with the times we talked about... What's up with the time we found your dad in public? He didn't speak to Natsuki, but he did ask at one point if I was dating her. That's the way you want that, Suhi, then I'll respect your wishes. I'll admit that I'm still curious about a lot of things, but if, as you said, there's no harm in the way you, we're living. If you, want to put aside, if you want to put this aside for now, then that's okay. Thank you, Bob. Atsuki's been so sweet lately. It's probably because she's speaking to her boyfriend, but living in a healthy environment is probably influencing her too. Maybe it's okay to end things here. Both happy now, so maybe it's time to just leave it at this. I don't think anything bad will come out of it. And on that note, I'm going to end this particular chapter. If you think what I'm doing, please consider subscribing. I always sub back. Fairly well, ladies and gentlemen.